Most people in America are looking for how do I make a life worth living and a return worth having. And openly, the truth of America is what we do for our living. How we earn our living is different for everyone. There are some people that sell one item and openly then for the whole year, they're done. During the dot-com craze, people did a lot of things of buying and selling domain names that belonged to companies before that became somewhat immoral and somewhat illegal to own someone else's company name. Today, people are not technically allowed to own someone's brand name like that. The value of them has depleted, in that at the time you could buy them for $250, but you could turn around and sell them for a million dollars to a major corporation who hadn't quite understood the internet yet. That's what happened to Pepsi and Coke, I believe, and it put a lot of 30-something technologists out of work and into retirement, marvelously. And just about anybody can live off a certain amount of set income for many, many years of their life. It's like the winning the lottery when they used to give it all at once, but now they start to give it in installments because people go hog wild once they get it and they're not thinking about how to invest it and how to utilize it for long-term retirement. The liars of America are not familiar with what is and isn't possible, but there are many people who are looking for advice from people like me, and I just gave some counsel to a young couple who might have been playing with me, but they were doing a marvelous job talking with me while I was understanding they were distracting me from my property. I didn't mind too much because I was very aware of who was behind me, what was happening, and I was able to feel it and sense it in my periphery. My peripheral vision is mine, and I have the opportunity to do that in time. But what I can tell you is that there are people who marvelously age. The liars of America are openly not liars. But there are liars in America who are not marvelous people. You see, there's two types of lies today. And what I talk about in marketing is the marketing that supports your publicity channel. And then there's the marketing that does, that debilitates what you can handle. A true person who's a creative person like me knows exactly what my capabilities are and can be. But at the same time, because I have to satisfy a client, I may not be able to actually put out forward the imagery that I wanted to sell to them because they chose a different design than I provided. Or they chose one of the backup designs that I provided because the client might have liked it better. When you work with me on processing or systematizing your business, the goal is to create a system that you can utilize every time so that you gather the information, the intel, the data that you need every time from a client in order to figure out what they need so that you can satisfy those needs every time. Making sure that you're always giving more than you can not afford, but more than they perhaps provided in investment. You see, you always want to under-promise and over-deliver in any kind of business, and the survival of a business is based on servitude, serving people's needs.